Hello and welcome to this video about Meta's latest announcement about Llama AI and OpenAI Wiki its API open for public use. On February 24th, Meta announced the release of their Llama large language model Meta AI under a non-commercial license making it accessible to academic researchers, government organizations, civil society and industry research laboratories worldwide. This move was aimed at preventing misuse and ensuring the model's integrity for research use cases. And now on March 1st, OpenAI has made another exciting announcement. They have made their chat GPT, DALI 2 and Whisper API available for public use. This is a fantastic opportunity for anyone interested in AI to try out OpenAI for themselves and explore the possibilities of creating their own AI tools. Both ChatGPT and Llama is a large language model trained on billions of parameters. Meta and ChatGPT are trained using a technique called unsupervised learning. This means that it learns to understand language by analyzing large amounts of text data. This approach is similar to how we human learn language by reading books, articles, and other texts. Pretty incredible, yup. In future, they might become like humans. Who knows? Meta and ChatGPT are built on the Transformer architecture, which was introduced by Google in 2017. This architecture enables the model to process and understand language in a way that is more similar to how humans do it by taking into account the context and relationship between different words in a sentence. During training, the model is fed with an enormous amount of text data from a variety of sources such as books, articles, and websites. The model then uses this data to learn to predict the likelihood of a given word appearing in a particular context based on the surrounding words. This process is repeated millions of times gradually, including the model's ability to understand and generate language. More we ask questions on their platform, more better their AI model become. As the training progresses, the model becomes better at identifying patterns and relationships between words, as well as meaning and new senses of different words and phrases. The end result is a powerful language model that can generate coherent and contextually appropriate responses to a wide range of theories and inputs. That's how Meta and ChatGPT language model is trained by using unsupervised learning and transform architecture. While ChatGPT has become one of the most impressive language models out there, it has a wide range of potential applications. But in spite of this, why MetaLama is better than ChatGPT despite being a smaller model? MetaLama is desirable in the large language model space because it requires far less computing power and resources to test new approaches, validates other works, and explore new huge cases. Foundation models train on a large set of unlevel data which makes them ideal for fine-tuning for a variety of tasks. Meta AI developers are making LLAMA available at several sizes, that is 7B, 13B, 33B and 65B parameters. LLAMA performance is not worth it, as data shows that it is performing considerably better than GPT-3 another large language model. One of the meta language model 65B is as impressive as GPT-3 but 10x smaller than GPT-3. That makes Llama much more efficient than GPT-3 as it can do the same GPT-3 work with a lot less energy and resources. And performance is an important aspect in tech. Meta also cared about the environmental issues. Meta language model uses 1x7 carbon emission as changing which make it a good competitor to open a chat GPT. Okay, that was the overall data about this AI. Now let's move to the part on how to get access of Llama and OpenAI API for creating your own AI tools. First, I'm talking about OpenAI API. Go to site platform.openai.com. The site is good for beginners. They have tutorials so you can learn about how to integrate different APIs of ChatGPT, Whisper, Dali2 and many more. This is their website platform openai.com. As you can see, welcome to OpenAI. Start with basics. First section quick start tutorial. Learn by building a quick sample. In this quick start tutorial section, you will build a simple sample application. Along the way, you will learn key concepts and techniques that are fundamental to using the API for any task including content generation, summarization, classification, 
categorization and sentiment analysis data structure translation many more second example section here we can explore what is possible with some example application there are lots of example here as you can see you can generate stories you can chat with and bot you can create image with it. as soon for trying this example click on it and the soon you click you will be directed to the open ai playground where you can test these examples for testing this example you have to log into the site okay now let's talk about how much it is going to cost us open ai says pay for users only these are api charges of chat gpt whisper I'm not sure these are expensive or affordable. As for many people, it can be expensive or for some it can be cheap. It depends on the person. So if you are interested in AI and want to start exploring the possibilities of creating your own AI tools, be sure to check out OpenAI platform and take advantage of this fantastic opportunity with Meta and OpenAI making their models and APIs more accessible, you might make next biggest AI model, who knows. Now let's talk about Llama AI. For its access, go to Google search, search Meta Llama, click on the first link. There is the blog about the Llama language model, scroll down and at the end of the blog you will see apply for access to Llama. Click on it and they will ask about some details. Fill them up and they will review it. If you raise their demands, you will get its access. Some of the common terms and conditions that we should consider before using OpenAI and Meta API. You cannot use it for military purpose, no violence. Okay, good. Surveillance of people without their consent is totally no no and many more technical terms you can check them on both website if you like to read it or read it. I know you are not going to read it. Okay, I will summarize it for you. No illegal activities, you can use this API for only good purpose, complete no for military purpose that can cause harm with weapon development, military and buffer. You cannot harass anyone, no surveillance on people without their consent. No adulting means you cannot make erotic chat or produce adult content using AI. Complete or no. No to activity that has high risk of economic harm like multi-level marketing, gambling and lending. There are more terms and conditions but this is the overall. Basically for using these tools you have to use it for only good purpose. If you do wrong, they will eliminate you. Have fun with this AI. Overall, this video was about Llama AI and OpenAI. We covered details about language model and then how we can use their APIs for creating our own AI tools and about their platform. By the way, I have added the links of Meta Lemma and OpenAI platform in the description for making things easy. Have fun. We hope you find this video informative and if you didn't, please hit like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.